I have a, a dear friend of mine is a songwriter named Susan Wong, and you probably remember Susan. Uh, back in the 80s, had the hit, uh, Is There Life Out There? Yes. For Reba. Oh, and, yeah. Uh, she said, what an inspiration you were to oh, her. Really? Uh, because you were paving the way for a lot of women to make a mark in country music in a different way, wearing the kind of clothes that you wanted. Mm -hmm. I mean, we'll talk about that a little bit because right. that's a great story. But but you had that, that kind of a attitude where you were going to do your thing and you were going to do it your way. And you got people who usually didn't do things. Yeah. <laughs> well, boy, they well, did. But you know what, Rhett? It wasn't just to me, I'm not I'm looking back, it wasn't just that I wanted to do it my way. I wanted to say what I knew that a lot of women wanted to say. See, all of the songs were being written by men, and they were all songs um, saying what men wanted women to feel like. You know, like you can go out and cheat and do whatever, but I'll be home waiting for you, you know. Well, we were reaching an era where we didn't want to say that. That isn't how we felt. And so I felt like I want to try to write songs that, that say what we feel. Each decade, a, a new generation comes along and brings their outlook and their attitudes. And their outlooks and attitudes come from life changes, society changes. So. To me, it's just so normal when a new decade turns over a new generation, look for new things and enlightenment. And that's where it was. It was, sure it was what I wanted to do, but it was what I knew everybody wanted to say, too.